Hey, what's up everyone, Mario Carson here, and today we're gonna to be going over the three basic fundamentals of improving your sprinting speed and then how you could actually improve in those areas. We're gonna go into foot contact time, stride frequency, and stride length, and I wanna go a little bit into each of them. We'll start off with number one over here, stride length, and the big thing that ends up going into stride length is how much force is being created into the ground, right? And then that is the, the biggest thing. So when you're turning over and you're, you're actually striking the ground, we really wanna be able to maximize the vertical and horizontal force that is being created into the ground, right? So it can't only be a horizontal force and it can't only be a vertical force where people end up really having more of an issue. It's definitely more on the uh, vertical force where they're just like striking straight down into the ground where you really wanna be able to create both horizontal and vertical forces in order to really maximize the stride length. Another big thing is just gonna be overall like mobility here, right? So if we're, so if you end up being like really stiff within your hips or within your lower back, that will also impact your ability to really maximize your stride length. But really the biggest thing ends up being how much force are you creating into the ground during your foot contact. Uh, and then the other thing would be, the secondary thing would be uh, the mobility. The next thing is gonna be stride frequency, okay? And one of the, end, the important things that ends up going into this is just fast twitch muscle fibers, right? So how much fast twitch muscle fibers do you naturally have within your body will have a big impact on how fast you're able to turn over the leg. Another big thing is gonna be core strength and hip flexor strength, okay? So how good are you at being able to really maximize that knee up position? How fast are you able to get that leg through? Obviously right now when I'm doing this, this is in a position where, you know, I'm not running at maximal speeds, but if I'm gonna have, you know, at my max speed, my foot's gonna be a little bit more, or my leg's gonna be more at hip extension. So then when I push off, I really gotta be able to drive with, from a, a fully extended position within my hip flexors and within my core to really maximize the strength and, and the turnover there. And then the last thing is going to be the hamstring length and strength. I'm gonna quickly interrupt this video just to save you like the information. Go ahead and click that thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we'll hop right back into it. So this is important because as I'm pushing off and, and bringing that leg through, I really gotta be able to get my foot all the way out in front of my body and then pull back underneath, okay? So not only do I have to have good strength to be able to pull back down, but I also have to be able to lengthen. So as I'm in the, the extension, being able to pull through and then really eccentrically contract here. A lot of people have a hard time when it comes to max speed, being able to eccentrically co contract their foot and get their foot out in front of them or their leg out in front of them to then create that pull that makes it so that you can have that really, really great stride frequency. The last thing is gonna be foot contact. And the big thing here is gonna be ankle strength, foot strength, posture, right? So these end up being really important when it comes to foot contact time. If our posture is not great, right, we're too rounded forward or something like that, now we're not gonna be able to really contact the ground with the right amount of you know, fast twitch and our ability to like land and, and decelerate and then be able to accelerate right back off really quickly. Okay, a lot of that ends up being posture, a lot of that ends up being ankle strength, and a lot of it ends up being the range of motion within the foot and the ankle as well, right? So you have to be able to have the necessary parts within the foot and ankle to uh, land and control, okay? So if we're too stiff within the foot, within the ankle, then when it lands, then you could end up having a unnecessary movement, right? That could cause maybe your weight to go forward or to the side or, or to the other. You know, there's a lot of different ways that your body can end up compensating from, you know, either your foot or your ankle being too stiff. Commonly, I would say ends up being, your foot ends up being really, really stiff. So then when you land, you're not able to decelerate as quickly. So then you're not able to push back off as quickly. So the best athletes are able to, or the fastest athletes are able to really stabilize really well with their feet and, and within their ankle and have the ability to control the movement pattern very well, which makes it so they could really minimize that foot contact time. And just to give you guys a bit of a context here, you know, when it comes to somebody like me, uh, I'm gonna have about 2.3 yards per step Okay, I'm six foot. Okay, and that's a, that's a good area. You know, if I can get up to 2.5, that'd be great. If I'm at only at two, if I'm uh, six foot and I'm only at two or 2.1, that would definitely be below average. Stride frequency, I'm probably at about 3.4-ish. 
It'd be better if I was in like that 3.2 range. Again, I'm six foot. If you're a little bit taller uh, and you're in that 3.4 range, right? You could be like 6'2 and being in that, uh, that 3.4 range would be really good. For me, that's about average. It's not great. Uh, it's not necessarily really bad either. And then for contact time, this is really where I can make the biggest improvement. I'm at about 0.1. You wanna be able to be at 0.08. That seems to be the biggest thing with top sprinters is they're able to get their foot contact time to 0.08. The only thing is like, if you're maybe like 5'9", you can get away with having a little bit more foot contact time as long as you have a great stride frequency. So this has to be like 3.0 or under if you're a little bit shorter so you're able to just move those legs really rapidly but you're able to pick up long longer distance so now if you're like five point you're five nine and you know you could end up having a you know 2.3 to 2.5 yards per step only if you have a little bit longer foot contact time but uh, you could also have you know closer to two with your yards per step if you're five nine and you know still have a fast stride frequency and a, a fast foot contact time so it always works differently depending on the individual typically if you're taller then you end up having a little bit longer stride frequency uh, and a little bit shorter with the foot contact time and then reverse sides of that when it comes to uh, if you're a little bit shorter all right and i know i came with a lot of information there very quickly i get super passionate about talking about speed so i know i can get going really fast there i'm all about speed in my talking and my running and how i work out everything i'm always about speed so uh, just if you guys have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave those in the comments or you can reach out to me one-on-one. -on -one. I'd be happy to answer your questions like anything that has to do with speed. I'd be happy to answer. I'm happy to talk to you. It really makes me excited. And then as always, if you like the information, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or recommendations, you can leave those down below. Also check out the description if you guys want to get into any of our speed breakdowns, speed programs. Uh, anything that can help you in maximizing your speed, you can even set up a one-on-one -on -one with me to be able to go over you know, how to create a, a speed program that could help in or a speed plan to help you in the off season or in season or, or just talk about how we could get on something that's very consistent for you. So you can check all that out in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.